Welcome to the I am still way too lazy to keep counting the count of this episode episode of the uh, Let's build in which I want to build a whole quarter with you So in the previous episodes we pretty much finished these five houses But we need to still make a few changes about our last one here uh, first of all, uh, a few, I, th I summarized a few things up that I wanted to do uh, in this in this episode here. So I, of course, want to bring in some randomization here on this stone brick archway, and I do think one more. Um, oh, let's just place him here. Uh, one more would be nice. Also, what we can do is to simply place two stairs here, one regular, one upside down. Then, yep, yeah, looks better immediately, and. Um, what else was on the list? So I want to change the roof on this side a little bit um, to have it in the same shape as it is on the other side. But do I really want to? Do I really want to? I don't really want to. I do think this is actually nicer if we have it like this, at least on this side. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just keep it. Uh, Okay, then, then let's just do it like this. Okay. Um, now, one more thing to do is, of course, to add chimneys. But first of all, I want to go to the inside of the building. Once again, take torches, because I can imagine that it will be quite dark in here for you guys. And we need to change to patch this hole that was just on the other side here. Um, now, over here, we have enough room to make another another floor so I'm going to do that without getting rid of too many other blocks wait no let's still do it like this um and we can continue up until here okay th this this will be fine but I need ladders because I don't want to make another stairway going up or do I I don't. Nope, I don't. Okay, um, until here, fix this. Well, maybe like that. And then, of course, it will end here. So I'm making a wall over here. Like that. And uh, that's what I was afraid of. Give me a plank. Is there no plank here? There was there's a plank. Okay. And then we are going to fill in this wall here, and like this, there we go. And I think this is, yeah, this is the row of stairs that we placed, so we can get rid of this bottom row, except for that one. And, ah, uh, interfering with the inside of the wall, so we can't really replace this block. But what we can do um, is still to fill in few materials here there we go generally I don't like this that that there's no really tr not really a transition between those two materials or basically three materials four if you count the randomizing uh, but as I keep repeating it's for me it's more important that the outside of the building looks decent uh, more than it is for the inside of the building and you can uh, basically, if if you have uh, such a such a situation here, you can um, cover these things up with, for example, for example, pictures or other other elements of interior decoration. So um, basically, I, w I would do that if I was ever to do um, interiors, which I don't, as you know, because I'm terrible at it, uh, because I never tried it, which kind of goes hand in hand with one another. Um, okay, so the ladder is there, so we need to finish this off here, and I want to have another torch here to make it brighter, and then go down, and we need to complete this, and here it's just going to be this fake floor. Of course, we could leave it like this and just make the, the roof more archway here, but I simply want to have the same the same structure like over here. I do I do really like these... Um, 
no, I don't want to have this one. Um, I, I really like these uh, these floors where you use top slabs and um, cross beams in combination with one another. It looks so much better than just using a regular floor. floor. I think it, it, that's the thing that, that Jamzy Boy did like already two years ago or something like that. So basically since top slabs have existed and sideway logs. So pretty amazing that he did it back then. In the beginning I didn't like it, but now I really I really think that it's the, the only decent way to go about it. Okay, and a nice little um, archway shape here. I don't quite like how these are transferring into that. But I don't want to have this block shown either. Okay, it's just gonna stay like that. What about this block? We don't need that. What we could do here... What we've got here is... Failure to communicate. Okay, um... Just gonna do it like this. So this is the place to get up. So we have a little bit more space up here to do things. So maybe this is... Maybe if you put a, a table here and a chair, you could sit at the window and look outside and see the, the gorgeous buildings and, and even uh, the, the tower of the church. And so that, that's pretty okay. And you can't get up from here, which is okay. Uh, makes makes sense. It's It's a good compromise, I think. And do we need another torch? No, we don't. But on this side, I want to close this off with oops, a fence. There we go. And I think that's about it. I still need to figure out what to do with this thing. I noticed this, this in the last video. Um, I wanted to have it as a decoration to kind of have something for, well, a kind of overhang. But I think it doesn't make too much sense, whatever it was supposed to be. Um, but what we could do, what we could do, hmm, what could we do? I'm just going to make another roof, just because I feel like it. So basically what I'm just going to do is to have a, a, a tiny little roof, maybe, maybe because I want to store something beneath it. Maybe there's supposed to be something stored right here, right here, and I need a roof for that. And why not? Um, and then, of course, on the inside, I need the buttons once again. And this time, I think I'm just going to use stone buttons for all of them. Mm. Yep, that's about it. Uh, moving on to the chimneys. So I need chimneys, and I want to have a chimney on this building right here and back here wait no 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 why would there be a chimney over here nope doesn't make sense doesn't make sense at all would make way more sense if there were two chimneys back here but we need to turn this into a corner stair and then place this chimney and then the other chimney is going to go here so we need to turn this into a corner chair uh, co corner chair, corner stair, and this one will be out of cobblestone to not always have the same material. And maybe even one on here. Yeah, no, I think I think. Well, it's it's a big roof, so I'm tempted to place more than three, more than three chimneys. Also, I want to kind of, well, cover this big plane thing here. So yeah, let's let's just do it. Mm. Now this one in front here will be easy. This one here will have a slab on top of it. Uh, this one here too, and this one here will have two. There we go. And then a little bit of randomization once again. I need cracked stone bricks. And place it at the, the bottom here. And at the bottom here. There we go. And now, now what's left to do is to continue with the materials for the road. And I kind of want to cheat a little bit, because it's... I think these walls are too plain. 
I do think these walls are way too plain. So first of all, um, in the beginning I'm going to going to place a few double slabs, double stone slabs here, but then I'm going to stop because it's the stone slabs for me are always on the main roads, or basically it's just road material, not any path to a house. So I'm just going to end it right here and then go about it like this. Um, then there's going to be a patch of gravel here and there and here like that. Then moving on with stone. Uh, be careful around here. Uh, what I always try to avoid is that the the ground material here is the same like the wall material right next to it. I think it's okay to place it like this because then there's one diagonal line between those two, but um, I don't want to place them right next to each other. Uh, this should be about it. And then it's a little bit of cobblestone too to bring in a little bit more, yeah, well, darker elements to it. Like this. And maybe even a cobblestone stair here. And then usually I'd go with with stone slabs. Maybe let's place one more here. This is too much in the center, so two more. Um, like this, and I don't want this block to be seen right here. There shouldn't be too much grass in the beginning. There can be a little more grass in the back, but in the beginning it shouldn't be. Uh, so basically, I'm just gonna do it right here, that, and here, and then a little more stone, and even here. Okay. And there, and there we go. Wait. Bam. Okay. Okay, I think this is about alright. So, I was talking about cheating, and I'm going to cheat. At least I'm gonna try what it looks like. So, cheating for me is always to cover building parts that I don't really like that much with a few leaves. So I'm just gonna build up a few leaves from down here. Of course this will limit our space up here on this platform, but we still have enough space to uh, to pull in um, heavy things from there and maybe one here and one sticking out here and there. No, not there. Should be about right. Um, and like this, and like that, and as you can see, I'm, I'm all also randomizing the the leaves. So I'm using oak leaves and birch leaves because they have a similar color, but just it's it's just a tiny difference between them. But it still makes of a nicer look if if there's a, a little small difference between them. Okay, and now I'm taking grass, something I did I did I didn't do with the previous buildings, but this is something that I also do. So I'm not placing. A, a, a tall grass on every single grass block, but on some it can be nice, especially on the sides and maybe here even a double tall grass, just to uh, have a little bit of greenery, which is very important for a city. Um, of course, it sometimes if it's like an abandoned path, it makes sense to place grass right in the middle of it because it grew there and nobody ever walks uh, well through it or past it or above it, but. Um, usually, even if there's a grass patch right here, where people would probably uh, walk along so from time to time, I wouldn't place um, a taller grass block there. Uh, a little bit more here and there, and maybe here. And I didn't randomize this before, so let's just do the same thing. Um, I could just do slash I-43, but then again, it's just these few blocks, so don't really care. Um, no, not like this, but like that, and here, and these two, and these. Uh, this w this area right here will be fixed um, in an episode where I built this, this house that I planned to build in the beginning. So then we are going to fix the rest up here in the back because it needs some fixing. Um, but for now, let's just continue uh, moving down the street. What am I doing here? And yeah, I do want to have a patch of grass in the middle here. 
but not... Yeah, that's that's okay for now. It's okay for now. Um, and then there can be a grass. Tall grass here. Okay. A grass. Wow. Okay, and I think that's about it, isn't it? Um, we completed the roof. We've we cheated on the inside. We've done that. All the windows are in here. I like this. Now I really like this this courtyard. It it's not the the most complex thing I ever built, um, but it's it's large enough to to place some chests around. Um, or well, I, I basically would use crates like the uh, the pistons with where the where the up uh, where the, the top side of the piston is um, on every side of the of the block. But they were removed in 1.8. I do hope they bring them back because they were awesome blocks for, for crates. But um, normally I would go around about it and place them. But we could place some, some chests here. So we have enough space for that. And at the same time, it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of narrow. So uh, it's, it, it feels like a big place down here. But if you look up with all these overhanging blocks, you can see only a little bit of the sky, but at the same time, this makes up a nice contrast, I think. And did we forget anything inside here? So we do have our stairway up. We have this part of the wall, like this this wing of the building. And then we go up here. I don't really like this over here. This block is just kind of out of place, especially because there's nothing on this side to it. Um, maybe let's just do it like this. And then like this, because the, yeah, now now actually this, this part that I didn't like here makes more sense. Um, still, this doesn't help us with this block here, but we need it because hello, hello outside world. Still need it. Um, we can't really do anything about it here because I don't want to... Do I want to lose this? No, I don't want to lose this because... And, and besides, if I place it like this, then we have two log blocks right next to each other. So this is going to have to stay, unfortunately. Um, I do like th what we did here. Maybe we can even place it like this. No, then rather... Then I'm just going to rather take a spruce wood plank and place it like this. Do I? No, I don't wanna. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, let's just keep it like that. Okay, and the rest of the building up there um, is kind of ugly, but it's the, like this room right beneath this, this uh, roof here. But I do think that in general, it is, uh, it is a good building. I think this is the, this, this was the, the most complex building of these these buildings that um, that we built so far. Um, at the same time, of course, it's well. I, I do think it's it's the the ugliest. I don't think it's ugly, but it's the ugliest out of these buildings. Um, but it will look all right once we place another building to the side here, and then everything's going to be fine, and I'm going to be happy. And look at that, we, we already we already built um, five houses, didn't we? Six, one, two, three, four, five, well, four if you count this one as one. But we already covered half of this area that I want to build this quarter in. So basically we did a third because we already have buildings over here. So what we're going to do is to build the rest of the quarter on this side, then we have this side, and... Hmm. You know, one thing, we, we have this, we have this cave-like thing here, um, and we have this, this easy accessible hill over here. So what I'm thinking about is why are there... Ooh. <laughs> I keep finding things, I keep finding secrets that I built that I totally forgot about. Those are the best kinds of secrets. Um, 
So basically what I was thinking about was to to have even a little bit of an extension of the quarter so that we go up with a with a staircase up until here and then build a few houses a little bit higher so that we have a few like buildings over here like the ones I'm looking at right now that are on a completely different level of height um, than the than the previous buildings on the ground and it's it ha doesn't really have anything to do with the video so but I, but I still want to want to see what it, what I built here in the first place so this has to be quite old as you can see uh, because there's there's nothing like randomization going on here no randomization at all and we end up oh I remember I do I remember totally um, this is actually I don't even know where I'm gonna okay let's just let's just not let's just not do this um, this was a secret passage out of my city once yep because where the wall is right here um, usually was was forest and the wall just went into this this hill right here so this was this was the path the, the wall took so this this was the exit right outside the wall okay but uh, we talked about the plans of maybe adding um, a higher terrain over here and with that I do think that is pretty much it so I do hope you enjoyed watching this this video I do hope you enjoy this series in total if you have any suggestions about uh, certain things then either leave them as a comment in the comment section or on my Facebook fan page and with that I do think that's pretty much it so as always please rate comment subscribe join the crew come and make today to see you will not upload we'll see you next time bye bye